Hello guys and welcome back to another uh, video of Stoneblock. Now I know according to um, what it looks like on my channel, like the actual upload schedule, that I've just been playing Stoneblock. I actually forgot to upload the last two videos, including this one, so I'm redoing this video. Um, and I just had to upload the other one late. I I actually accidentally switched the the recordings, so that's why it looks like I'm. I haven't done any cutting, but I actually have. It's just I accidentally messed up the upload schedule. So all I really wanted to show you today was this really cool thing. Um, if I go down here, I made this little room. So I have um, this very simple power grid. So I have these water mills. Now water mills generate GF. I uh, sorry, GP grid power. Grid power is just it's needed for an, any machine that has any sort of um, it, it's basically required for extra utilities you just need it for extra utilities um, for example it's uh, without the speed upgrades it can run fine but maybe uh, maybe you want to put in speed upgrades to make it go faster you need GP to, to power those that extra power um, that it needs for the speed upgrade. So essentially, I use the simplest ones that I knew how to use. Water mills from extra utilities too. Um, they're quite complicated to make. I just needed a resonator, a bunch of redstone, um, and a few pieces of wood. Um, and then I had to make some stone burnt. I think that's what it's called. And I, had, I also had to put that in the resonator. I think it was um, uh, smelt cobblestone into stone, turn that into bricks, and then turn bricks into like smooth stone and then I just put in the reson resonator and it turned it into uh, stone burn and anyways so essentially how it works is any it can't be a water source block but if there's any water flowing into or next to the power mills uh, sorry the water mills it'll generate GP and GP doesn't actually need any sort of connection any wired connection for it to to be hooked up nor any additional setup you just put a machine near the GP I think it's in the chunk and it'll it'll work um, so I have this little setup this uh, diamond shaped setup because I have I have four water sources one here one here and one here and one there and that allows for all of these water mills around the ring to be to to get uh, to generate power including the center one okay um, so this is actually the machine. You the fuck, I can't talk. <laughs> the machine I wanted, the machine, the machine I wanted to show you. But I did make some storage, some basic drawers, um, and yeah, um, and that's actually yeah, and there's even more of that stuff over here. You can see we have 649 iron, which is an insane amount. We're running out of coal. Fill this a little. Uh, so how the system works is we have our cobblestone generator. I just found one in the chest and decided to make this. I didn't know we had it. Um, so just a tier two cobblestone generator is just a cobblestone generator uh, surrounded by iron and I think cobblestone generator. Those are made with water buckets and lava buckets with some cobblestone around it and some glass in the middle. Um, and then you surround, and that creates a cobblestone generator, tier 1. Just surround that with iron, and you get tier 2. And I believe, what's tier 3? Tier 3 is diamonds. Oh, I can actually make that, but actually, no, I, I actually don't need it. Um, but, yeah, I'm planning on setting some sort of uh, lava and obsidian generator right here. Uh, I'm not entirely sure yet. Maybe I j I'll just make more of these, but for um, different different uh, types of um, things that can be sieved. Um, so, anyways, cobblestone generator automatically cr uh, um, generating cobblestone and putting it into the auto crafter, which automatically compresses it. Now, why am I compressing it? Well, it just makes it so that it can break it into gravel really quickly. So. Then this uh, auto compressed hammer auto uh, auto hammers all of the compressed cobblestone into gravel. So once it hammers one of them, it creates um, it creates nine gravel, and all that gravel is being auto crafted once again into compressed gravel just to speed up the process. You can see um, it goes really quickly from very slowly to extremely filled right here, and all of that gravel is going into here, creating compressed gravel. You can see this bar is filled up with compressed gravel, which is all being sucked into this heavy sieve, which is automatically sieving. 
um, all all of that compressed gravel with an iron stiffened mesh mesh into all of this stuff. Um, and all of that's going into the chest. However, I did want to show my friend this before I cleared out the chest just to show how OP this is and how many ores there are. It actually creates a lot of these uh, s gemstones, but I just take them out and put them inside of the um, inside of the storage drawers because they are kind of useless. And then I can just put all of these inside of the drawers, which you do by just double right clicking them and I did not mean to take out my apples so anymore yeah the blue ones okay and yeah so that is a ton of loot if you can't tell obviously <laughs> I'm just gonna take some of this put it in here 20 diamonds that's pretty good um, now I don't have to go to the mining dimension it's absolute hell I mean Look, if I, 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 I'll just be running up the staircase for, for like hours. And I do, oh, we do plan to use a smelter. I used it to create some steel. That, that's, that's all I used it for. Um, and additionally, I would like to connect up the auto, auto sieve, auto sieve to the, um, to this to storage or somewhere I'm not sure but I'm too currently too lazy to actually do that I want to focus on some coding stuff first I do want to create a coding tutorial uh, channel I might do that on the side just for fun because I like I like teaching people and it kind of angers me how poorly colleges seem to teach coding to to, to people you know just just their experience of um, helping people like I can see they're really struggling because the they're just not teaching coding very well. Like they know half of the basics and half of the intermediate stuff, and then they don't teach them how to how to deal with errors. So when they cut when it comes to um, getting an error, they get it, it looks really scary, and they're unable to fix it. Um, and it just it discourages people from coding, <laughs> essentially. And you know, coding people aren't my people. So um, yeah. Uh, I do want to put in some staircases there, so I'm just gonna get some cobblestone. I think it's five, right? Five. No, it's six. I'm an idiot. Uh, let's take some of that. That should be enough for two staircases. Uh, there we go. Oh, oh, it creates a lot. Okay, I didn't know that. If we just do. Wait, what? Oh, boy. I got it, I got it. Just break this. Crap. Alright, where is my. Where's my pickaxe? I swear, I do not have. I do not only have a. Ch I don't know where my party pickaxe went. Whatever. Um. I'll just use the bar hammer that I got from one of the quests. Um, and just destroy this. And just put that there. Just like that. Is that? That's... It's kind of unnecessary. What if I put it like this? Will that look good? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright. Um, I think we're good. I just want this to look a little nicer, so I'm just gonna do that. I'm not sure if that even makes it look nicer. One second, let's destroy this and put this there. Same thing here. Just like that. Hmm. What if we just do... Destroy, destroy, destroy. Why do I have two torch launchers? That. that doesn't help in the slightest if we do this. Let's make another batch of stairs. That looks, mm, that looks okay, whatever. It'll have to do. 
torch launcher to launch that. I'm not, I'm not sure why I have two of these. I don't remember making two either. Oh, that, that must be on my friend Ben's. Uh, the other person who's playing on this. Um, we have a ton of iron. How much iron is this? That is a lot of iron. A lot of aluminum, too. Um, and quite a bit of tin. So I'm just gonna... You know what? I'll, I'll leave it in there. And I am not sure what other stuff in here. Let's put that in there. Jesus Christ, that's filled. Uh, let's take out some stones. Um, I don't know if there's in there. What else? You know, whatever. Just do each one. That's all of it. Um, and I'm. I'm I'm not actually going to make any progress in this video, I just want to show that to you, I just want to check item storage crate. Oh, that's really easy, where did we put our, yeah, alright, so see you guys next time, um, peace out.